If you didn't already know, the latest Splinter Cell Blacklist is available to buy from shops. Amongst a solo campaign and a return on Spies vs Mercs multiplayer mode, there are two features cooperative missions that expand on your play experience. So, how does it work? Once you're on board the Paladin aircraft, hub to all your mission briefings, you can speak with various people that will give you options to go on side missions, build up intel, equipment, etc. Speaking with Grimm will give you options to upgrade your Paladin, giving you upgrades to your radar for example, and activities of hacking related to your side quests. Find Charlie upstairs and he'll give you the latest gadgets to unlock and features missions of recovering such packages through his connections. Capture Coben and he'll give you access to the black market whilst you tackle hits, rooting out drug and gun operations as his side missions. And finally Briggs, your co-op partner. His missions bridge in between the campaign solo story which feature actual cooperative objectives. I'll be here. Keep me posted. So after making your decision and who to prioritize first, you'll notice that you'll be able to take your current loadout with all your weapons and opsuit unlocks into any cooperative mission. And with every mission you should always have your optimized loadout so conversing with your partner is useful, especially if you plan to play either Ghost, Panther or Assault style. Brim, we're at the scrap processing facility. Copy. Watch your backs. Voron sure picked the hell of a place for its operation. We got movement. Chersky and his crew, they look nervous. Playing through any mission with your partner is usually pretty challenging on whatever difficulty you have Looks if like you don't stick to the same page. Yeah. Using voice chat helps a lot, and agreeing to do joint mark and execute moves on certain targets, or even having yourself distract an armored guard while your friend takes him from behind, is very essential. You've got a caravan blocking your exit. UAV? Confirmed. Send it. The missions are usually structured with infiltrate without being detected, which is usually hard if you can't tap into your inner spy, or just sometimes do get missions where you can do what you please. Armed with various tools that can take down groups of clustered enemies such as sleeping gas, the classic sticky camera, or the new crossbow armed with a taser, every mission can be replayed differently every time. Keep the engine running. The cart missions is a great mode to get experimental and adventurous with, especially if you plan to play Spies vs Mercs multiplayer mode. We recommend getting to grips with the new gadgets like the sonar which lets you see through buildings, spot mines, lasers and even traps. Hostile contact in five seconds. You will occasionally get missions from in-house gadget man and hacker, Charlie, that requires you to survive waves of enemies. Here you'll find reasonable sized maps, several resupply points and few vantage spots. The aim of the mission is to survive the waves up until 5 and extract or just keep fighting to the very end for an extra bonus. Hostile neutralized. Hey. He's down. So if you haven't had a chance to pick up Splinter Cell Blacklist yet, or you already own a copy and you've overlooked the cooperative side missions, it's definitely worth a go. Some of them you can play solo, but why not get a friend and prove yourself that you're better agents together and rank up on the online leaderboards.